a um, very common problem in the undergraduate mathematics curriculum um, is to compute the square root of a complex number, which we write like this. And um, as far as I'm aware, there are three methods of doing this, um, uh, which I will call methods 1a, 1b, and 2. So let's start with method 1, and um, so we'll write method 1. And in method 1, we suppose that this is equal to z, which is equal to x plus i, y. Okay. And we're going to assume that a, b, x and y are real, and that b is not equal to 0, because if b was equal to 0, then this would be the square root of a real number. So the first thing we do, well, we'll change the color of the pen, is we square this equation, so we get z squared which is equal to x plus i y all squared, which is equal to x squared minus y squared plus 2i x y, and that's equal to a plus i b. So if this last equation here is true, then the real parts and the imaginary parts must be equal, so we'll write those down. So the real parts are x squared minus y squared, and that's equal to a, and the imaginary parts, let's change the colour so we can recognise them, is 2xy. equals b, and I'll call that equation 2, and this one here will be equation 1. <coughs> so, um, so these are two equations for two unknowns. Uh, in method 1a, so let's 1a, We also note that if z squared is equal to a plus ib, then their modulus or their yeah, moduli must be equal. So mod z squared must be equal to x squared plus y squared, and that must be equal to the modulus of this number, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So let's call that equation 3. <coughs> well, the way we uh, can solve these equations, or start to solve them, is to note that if we add equations 1 and equations 3, then y squared will drop out, so we will get an equation for x. So we add those two equations, and we'll get 2x squared, is equal to a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared. And uh, we go down the board a bit. Then we can divide that by 2 and take the square root to find that x is plus or minus the square root of this here, which is a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared, divided by 2. So we found x, or two values for x. So how do we find y? Well, to find y, we use equation 2, 
if we take equation 2 then y is equal to b divided by 2x and that's equal to uh, b divided by 2 and then we've got a plus or minus so we put that out here and then we've got the square root of a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared Let's move the board down a bit and that's divided by 2 and that's equal to we'll tidy it up a bit plus or minus b divided by the square root so if we take the 2 inside the square root that becomes 4 which cancels with the 2 and we'll just get 2 into a plus the square root of a squared plus b squared and um, so that's the answer to the problem so we found the real part which is x here and the imaginary part which is y here so I think we'll pause the show and we'll start a new video.